So let's quickly talk about SEMrush versus Ahrefs. Today I'll walk you through the main reasons why you might choose one tool over the other. This breakdown will help you understand which tool better aligns with your specific SEO needs and goals, ensuring you find the best fit for your unique situation. I'll wrap it up at the end with my personal take on which option is the better choice. Starting off with SEMrush and the biggest reasons to use them. So first and foremost is ironically enough going to be pricing. Now, getting started with both SEMrush and Ahref is fairly similar, but there's a very big twist, and it's the form of Ahref's credit system. Now having a look at the Ahrefs plans and pricing, here we can see you get 500 credits per user per month. Now personally, I find this to be one of their worst aspects of the tool and quite the deal breaker for me. If it feels like you're always running out of credits or you simply need to manage your credits carefully, that can really be quite frustrating. And after personally hanging around in many popular SEO groups, I've noticed that many SEOs have expressed their frustration with this and has most likely led to a significant number of users switching away from Ahrefs. SEMrush, on the other hand, Although it offers many optional upgrades, it provides a more straightforward and less restrictive pricing model. So SEMrush, in my opinion, shines bright like a diamond here. Plus, getting started is virtually going to be about the same price. If you look at the pro for SEMrush, we have $129.95 per month. Then with Ahrefs Lite, we have $129 a month. The pricing from then on out is going to be fairly similar. The middle plan is going to be $249 and advanced is going to be $449. And the middle plan is also going to be $249, with this one being $499. Nevertheless, given the fact that Ahrefs now uses credits for their pricing plans, SEMrush takes the cake here. Another big reason to use SEMrush is going to be their superior keyword research. Now, SEMrush really stands out with its keyword research capabilities. It provides extensive data and tools that help you uncover valuable keywords, understand search trends, and strategize effectively. Inside of SEMrush, you can look forward to features such as keyword overview, keyword magic tool, keyword strategy builder, you have position tracking, as well as organic traffic insight. In my opinion, SEMrush easily takes the cake in the keyword department as well. Another big plus for SEMrush is its versatility. Not only does it excel in SEO, but it also covers areas like PPC advertising, social media marketing, and more. When most people think about SEMrush, they think of SEO, but there's certainly more than meets the eye there. Those are some of the biggest reasons why you might want to use SEMrush, and I do want to say that they have a great UI. Their user interface is pretty straightforward, so even if you haven't used it before, getting up and running is going to be fairly simple, especially for the fact that they also have plenty of tutorials. If you would like to test them out, I will leave my link in the description, and if you click that, you can get a free trial with SEMrush. And on the other hand, we have Ahrefs. One of the reasons we're coming back to it again, if you have a tolerance for credit-based system, then you might want to use them. So if this credit-based system isn't a deal breaker for you, Ahrefs might be a viable option. This tool could be more suitable for you if you prefer a more a la carte approach to using SEO tools, or maybe you just don't plan on using many credits. But if that doesn't bother you, then definitely go on with Ahrefs. They are a fantastic software outside of that. Speaking of fantastic, they are phenomenal for finding backlinks and in my opinion, probably one of the best when it comes to that. Where Ahrefs truly shines is its ability to track down backlinks. It offers quite the comprehensive database and for this purpose, making it invaluable for anyone focused on building and maintaining a strong backlink profile. In fact, I used to use Ahrefs for the majority of my backlink research because of just how powerful and fantastic that feature is. To sum it up, both SEMrush and Ahrefs are very similar tools, but there are some very big and distinct differences. SEMrush wins with its straightforward pricing, excellent keyword research, and multifunctional capabilities. Ahrefs, meanwhile, is unmatched in its backlink analysis capabilities. However, its credit-based system can be a limitation depending on your usage patterns. Personally, if I have to choose between SEMrush and Ahrefs, SEMrush wins by a country mile. The all-encompassing nature of its tools, coupled with user-friendly pricing and interface, makes it a robust solution for anyone serious about ranking higher in search engines, as well as maximizing the overall results of their website. SEMrush also comes with a free trial. If you'd like to test them out, I'll leave a link for them in the description. Ahrefs used to come with a trial, but not currently. I'll also leave a link for them in the description should you want to grab them. So that's going to cap off my comparison of Ahrefs versus SEMrush. Usually when I do these, I talk about a little bit more of the specifics here, but for me personally, it's been really off-putting how Ahrefs changed over to the credit-based system. You know, so maybe, yes, I am a little biased. I know a lot of people have spoken up about that. 
But like I said, if those credits are a big deal for you, Ahrefs is a fantastic software. It's just left a really bad taste in my mouth upon changing on over to that credit-based system while being a monthly payment at the same time. Maybe it's not a big deal for you. Maybe it is. Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. But that should just about do it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this very quick comparison, and I'll see you in the next video.